when we come at, from Tai Chi back into Wuji, uh, it's like, you know what? It's like running the race and stopping three inches from the finish line. <laughs> so you do all this beautiful Tai Chi, and then we do our this, and you're already kind of going somewhere else. Like, uh, I wonder what time it is. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. No, no, stay here, train your mind. If I'm floating up, I'm also feeling the down, you know, just place your mind here. If I'm going down, then I'm floating up. It gives your mind an assignment other than the daily stuff. Okay, then we come here, and this is where I see this. I'm not making fun, I'm just pointing out. I'll see Kerplop. Okay, we are still in Tai Chi. In fact, to me, this might be the most sacred part of the whole form because we're moving out of Tai Chi back to Wuji. So let's get into Tai Chi stance, which is the division. And then as you weight shift, you, there is a slight rotation, very slight. In fact, the more subtle you make it, the better. And you are just sitting down in that uh, right sit bone and then smoothly pulling that uh, foot. That's it, thank you. Okay, so that was beautiful. See, it was so smooth, right? It's not stopping before the finish line. And, and it's, it's the completion. It's like you read a great book and that book was so moving to you that when you read that final page, you linger for a second and you close that book with such softness and grace because you don't want it to end. That's what I want your closing form to be, going out of Tai Chi into Wuji. Okay, same for Wuji to Tai Chi. You're opening this beautiful book. You don't know what it's going to bring you. You don't know what this form is going to bring you today. This is a quiet place, a reverent place, and it's still Tai Chi, okay? All right.